getting married means sharing my life with someone else and sharing it with someone who makes me want to be a better person and um, I really couldn't see myself being with anybody else. It's great when you know you have someone that you could see yourself living with forever and you know wanting that person by your side forever to go through the ups and downs in your life. And I'm glad I was able to find someone like that in Kristen. Looks like you look great, thanks. I think just her, her kindness and how she has so much respect for her friends and uh, family just makes you really love the person that she is. You, I just started falling more and more in love with her every time I got to, to be with her. I just knew it. Like, he's my best friend, he's my soulmate. I knew for sure that we were going to be together forever. Today is honestly going to be the best day of my life. I cannot wait to see him standing up there waiting for me to walk down the aisle. I just can't wait. Kristen, you know me better than anyone, and somehow you still manage to love me. I don't know how I got so lucky. So I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Ricky, who would have thought that the fraternity guy whose car I hopped into for a Greek exchange would be the man that I'm marrying nine years later? Well, I definitely thought about it. Rather hoped one day this day would come when I get to stand up here in front of you, our friends and family and express how much you mean to me. From the moment we started dating back in college, I knew I found someone special someone I couldn't live without. Because of you, I get to laugh every day, be myself completely, and feel like the most beautiful woman. I admire your strength, dedication, and the love you have for your friends and family. I will never take for granted how special our relationship is, and I will never take you for granted. I'll tell you I love you every day because every day I fall a little bit more in love with you. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you those nightly back massages that you so often request, but I can promise you the following. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives together, I have some promises to make you. I promise to make you laugh every day, even when you are sad, and to share your joy when you're happy. I promise to support you and be there when you need me most. I promise I will always communicate with you and listen to you. I promise to follow our rules and do the dishes after you cook and I promise to start cooking a lot more often. I promise to be patient with you, to respect and support you, and promise to stay just as goofy even when we're married. I promise to stand beside you through whatever our life together brings. I promise to honor you and hold you in the highest regard. I promise you my devotion and my trust. And I promise to always be honest with you, to listen to you, to be patient with you, and to encourage you. Thank you for your kisses every morning, your nook I fall asleep in, and your arms that I call home. Kristen, you are my best friend, and I can't imagine a world without your smile and beauty in it. I love you more than words can say. Today I get to marry you, the love of my life and best friend. How did I get so lucky? To a lifetime of celebrating our love and never letting our luck run out. I love you.
once in a while, two people meet. You know instantly the stars have aligned and these two people were meant to be in each other's lives forever. This was clearly the case over 10 years ago when Kristen and I met at San Diego State University when I joined Gamma Phi Beta. I've been best friends with Ricky for about 10 years now and I always knew that I was going to be the best man so sometimes <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about this night for a long time with the intention of trying to convey a message of how great Ricky was. I always ended up thinking about stories about myself <laughs> and I don't, know, I don't know if it was because I'm an only child or allegedly mildly narcissistic. <laughs> Be careful when leaving Kristen alone in the kitchen too long. Although she is a great cook, if she runs out of an ingredient, she will try to replicate that ingredient by finding things in the kitchen. For example, I once caught her trying to make coffee creamer by microwaving ice cream and pouring it into her coffee. What I, what I realized was, even though it was about me, it was to highlight my own flaws in order to show how good of a person Ricky was. He kept his mind focused on the future. He wasn't into material sort of things like I was, at least in, until he got into the oil business. <laughs> her big heart, compassion, and kindness touch all of those around her. There are no words big enough to define the kind of friend you are and what you mean to me. You have such a good heart and you, you care about everybody that's in your life. You've been someone that I've been honored to call my best friend for the last 10 years. You light up each other's lives simply by being together. You make each other laugh, and this is a love that is truly meant to be. I'll toast with something that my dad always says when he speeches, so if everybody can raise their glass. When he makes a speech, uh... I wish you absolute happiness in all the years to come in your beautiful marriage and a lifetime filled with joy and love. Congratulations. Cheers. Health, wealth, and happiness. Cheers. Okay. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of sun fall upon your home, and may the home of friend always be near. May green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joys that surround you. May true be the hearts that love you. So join me in wishing Kristen and Ricky lifelong happiness and joy. Cheers. Love you. I'm so happy for both of you. Nothing but the best. I hope your marriage is as fabulous as you both are, and I know it will be. And I just love you. So congratulations. Uh, congratulations. We are so happy for you guys. Ricky, I've always thought of you as my younger, older brother. I look up to you in so many ways. Um, congratulations to the two of you, you and Kristen. A lifetime of happiness, and uh, we love you. We love you guys. Ricky, I love you so much. I'm so glad that you had me here for your celebration. Uh, you look so cute tonight. And Kristen looked all right too, but Ricky, absolutely beautiful. And thank you, I love you. Hi, Ricky, Kristen. Kristen, thank you. I'm I think it's a dream come true that the two of you met. 
So congratulations, and I hope you will be happy for the rest of your life. Tonight. Just the way you look to